like you're talking to someone like Jamie who has so much experience at dialing in iconic characters. You really want to give her something that she looks great in and she feels great in that also works for the I'm character. Not look great. Let's, no, let's, she, no, but let's, looks, no, let's looks just not lie in. to the nice people. <laughs> You're iconic watching. for a reason. I understand. Jamie. But let's not pretend I look great. No, you look, you look, look fantastic. Oh, I'm Tessa with Screen Rant. Can we just go down the line and introduce yourselves and your characters? I'll go first because I'm the only girl here. I'm Jamie Lee Curtis and I play Dr. Tannis. I'm Edgar Ramirez and I play Atlas. <clears throat> Florian Montiano, and I play Creek. Yeah. I'm Eli Roth, and I play the director. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eli, I want to start with you. What was most exciting for you to explore uh, from the video games into the movie? Uh, well, just world creating. I mean, everything that I've done before has been much more reality-based and kind of shooting on a location, but this is on another planet 3,000 years in the future. And I love, <laughs> you know, I love movies like Fifth Element and Escape from New York and even Barbarella and just things where like each set that you go to, uh, it looks completely different. It's not from our reality, uh, even though it's obviously reflective of it. So uh, that was the most fun for me was just kind of diving in and recreating the world and, and also the guns too. <laughs> the guns, yeah. So Jamie, for you, Tannis is such a fan favorite character. What did you bring from the video games into the movies from her? Well, a lot isn't in the movie, <laughs> which is what happens in movies. You know, you shoot a lot and then it doesn't end up in the movie. Um, I had the, what happened, I don't know if even you guys know this, when I landed in Budapest, I knew what the script said, and I had done a little bit of fan fiction reading, mm -hmm. but I hadn't really paid that much attention to what the real history of the game was. And Christy Pitchford mm -hmm. ended up sitting next to me on the plane. And she basically downloaded Tannis's whole story and the deep connection to Lilith, the family history, and her own personal um, stuff which I embraced wholeheartedly when I arrived. So I, I loved that there's a deep history that then I'm interpreting, um, so I don't have to make it up that much. <laughs> I just have to stay true to what was both on the page and the script, but also what was it, is in the hearts of the people who love these characters. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm I'm a big fan of the games, and I loved this movie. I thought it was great. Yay. Um, Thank you. <laughs> yes, Yay. Of say course. that again. Yes, that right I loved now. the movie. It was great. That one oh, that one's great. Okay, I loved the movie. It was great. <laughs> um, Edgar, for you, what was it like getting to explore a villain like Atlas? Well, it was it was very fun, and actually, it was easy because it's the only one. It's the only character, if I'm not mistaken, that it was created for the movie. Mm -hmm. So in the in the game, it's a corporation. It's almost like more abstract, and and basically we created this together with 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 Eli. And I'm, I arrived to Budapest after you guys have been together for months, but I was welcome into this beautiful family. I mean, led clearly by Jamie, who makes everyone feel so welcome and warm. And it was honestly a lot of a lot of what we did was very like. It was almost like a happening. I mean, I, I, I remember all of our inter interactions were happening in the moment. Um, we connected really well. And, and I, I had the space to become the, you know, the most evil and the most powerful man in the universe. That suited basically. you well. It, was, it took very shockingly little time for Edgar to just snap right. We know he's such a nice guy, but like, wow, he's really, he's really good at nice this. Guy. <laughs> that was very and then uh, for you. you, Eli and Florian, uh, Tiny Tina and Krieg have a great relationship in the games. What was it like bringing that to the screen? Well, first of all, I was very lucky to have uh, Ariana next to me. I mean, she's such a talented young lady and she's becoming better every day and she made me better every single day. Um, but coming into the project, I was already lucky to know about the game because I played it myself. I knew the character and uh, Eli trusted me that I was the best man for the role. Oh, without question. He was amazing. And he was. You, you had it. You had Also, to act with the mask on yeah. and to be able to get the emotions is excre it's extremely difficult. He did an amazing job. Appreciate that. And I knew I, you know, I had to pay that trust back. And uh, Ariana made it very easy for me, you know, to build that symbiosis and kind of build that energy that those two characters have. So uh, we had a lot of fun with it, like in general, as a family together. Yeah. And I think you can see that on screen. Definitely. Ariana is so funny. I mean, she's in Budapest. She's shooting now, you know, the Now You See Me sequel right now, so, or the threequel. So, um, but she was so funny. She's like, I want to walk up a wall. 
she really wanted to walk up a wall. And then, you know, Florian, some of you were like, well, she falls on her head, the movie's over. So Florian's like, oh, I can just grab her. You know, it was like the big brother, little sister yes, dynamic was instantaneous. So. <laughs> so she's like, Florian's like, I'll just pick her up. So she's running up the wall. Florian just picks her up like nothing. She's running and just mowing down bandits. It's unbelievable. But she's like, yeah, I want to do that. So any kind of thing, you know, with, it was just like having, you know, a big, it was like a big brother on set. They were hilarious. Oh, I love it. Jamie, uh, talking about choreography and stuff like that, did you do a lot of your own stunts? And there were some uh, great fight scenes. Well, they're fantastic fight scenes. You know, Tannis, <laughs> <laughs> she's a scientist. And so she is not known <laughs> for her physical prowess. Let's just put it that way. But she does find herself in the middle of the melee. And, um, you know, I didn't have to really do anything except you know look perplexed because <laughs> because in those sequences that's sort of what's happening but you know what people don't realize is there are hundreds of miles of underground tunnels in budapest they're called the beer tunnels mm -hmm. that's where they used to store the beer back in the day because they are cold and all year round they're cold, it was cold and indeed. we were down there for yeah three weeks. a long time three weeks wow and Florian was down there without clothes on for three weeks. <laughs> yeah. You know, the rest of us had jackets and things. I mean, it was it was intense, and that's where a lot of the battles take place. And so you also have to have that, there's that amazing energy of a group of talented stunt people who are also not wearing any clothes in the freezing cold, really throwing it down. So for me, I just literally stood there and with sort of awe on my face, <laughs> and then it worked for the character. We warmed them up with real explosions to be fair. I mean, if Tina threw a grenade, I would just set a charge and just and we got yes, real no. reaction. But we were doing shots. Everybody wanted to do their own fighting. Obviously, Florian is an amazing background as a fighter, but then you have Kevin's been training. Kate wants to shoot. Ariana wants to walk up walls. So I just did it like unbroken camera, just following them. And then Jamie was so funny going this way, this way. And then she just grabs a gun off of Kevin. He's like, what are you doing? It's like, I, I needed a gun. And just points to someone, shoots a guy with a flamethrower. So she was right. She's sort of in the middle of the battle, but just kind of paying attention to which way we're supposed to be going while everyone is flying around them. It was, but it was incredible. It was all the actors wanted to do their own stunts. They did a magnificent job. We need to discuss Miss Kate. We need yeah, to discuss really, Miss yeah. Kate Absolutely, because Miss yeah. Kate, was working those guns from day one. First day of rehearsal, she had those on. And she was working. She was like, twirling, doing she all was the twirling twirls. She was twirling guns every single day for four months, five months. It was beautiful to watch. She became Lilith, that master fighter she became, Kate. Yeah, you believe it. Like the way you look at Clint Eastwood as the man with no name, work at Sna Snake Plissken as a yeah. bounty. You look at Kate as Lilith, they're like, yeah. there's no question. She's just that pissed off bounty hunter <laughs> who's just annoyed at everybody. But she's so funny and so fantastic and, and her physicality. And then there was a moment where we put her and Kevin, we hadn't even rehearsed it, just her and Kevin back to back shooting, throwing, oh, yeah. Yeah, and you're just, yeah, 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 and it was yeah. like ballet. Like the two of them just went right into it. Like they'd been, you know, fighting together for years. It was really incredible. And then, I mean, I got to talk to you guys about the costumes and the sets, because I felt like I was in the game watching it. So what was it like for you guys, like actually stepping onto set and into costume? Well, you, that one member, yeah. The what? <laughs> no, just your. It was, well, that, it, it was incredible, because what I love about it is that it was so simple. You know, it was so simple and it could, Cause so much damage and and chaos. I love that. I love that thing. And also, you know, I was very well dressed. You know, like my my character beautifully, beautifully dressed. You know, and um, and actually our 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 costume designers they 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 really they really gave each one. I think that each character when you see them visually in the movie are very iconic. You know, and that you can see like many different like planets and universe like kind of like colliding stylistically, which is something that you had very clear from the beginning. And um, and Atlas, yeah, I, I, I love all the gadgets and it was really, really fun. But remember, this is a one outfit movie. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So That's like right. they, yeah. it, Daniel yeah. really worked yeah. hard yeah. Yeah. to create something that could sustain an entire movie or many, many months of shooting. 
which it, is impressive. And it had to look like they were real clothes, that they lived in them. You know, certain yeah. things that work good in the game, you would replicate it exactly and go, this actually doesn't work on a person. It doesn't function well. So it was a combination of getting the essence of the characters, getting the essence of the actors, having them feel good about it. Because obviously, you know, you're talking to someone like Jamie who has so much experience at dialing in iconic characters. You really want to give her something that she looks great in and she feels great in that also works for the I'm character. Not look great. Let's no, she, no, but no, looks, no, let's looks just iconic. Not lie to the nice people. <laughs> You're iconic watching. for a reason. I understand. Jamie. But let's not pretend I look great. No, you look you look fantastic. Oh, I look great. The yeah. goggles, the echo net, the well, red it's, jacket. I mean, goggles, yeah, bitch. Yeah, the goggles. I mean, <laughs> your nose <laughs> is jacket, <laughs> tiny yeah. Tina's clothes. No, Kate. You know, Florian's outfit. Yeah, Kate. Kate has been to the Met Ball. Kate yeah. can wear clothes. <laughs> so, yeah, they made Kate look really good. That's a beautiful costume. Yeah, she looked beautiful. Yeah, that. Daniel Orlandi. And it was it was COVID, gorgeous. so it was hard, but like we had to source that from Italy and my wife's Italian, so she was in the costume department calling and like speaking in Italian to get like it was it was actually getting stuff to Budapest was it was kind of down to the wire, but every it's really great when you see everyone's looks and you look at it all together. And and you know, building out the bandits in the world of Sanctuary City, we had a whole department in Budapest that were beating up clothes and taking these old work clothes and really tacking them down so it felt real it felt lived in and you know look I look at those movies like Barbarella or Toby Dammit or The Fifth Element or Escape from New York they're like they're so clever and they're so fun and so interesting that was what really what we wanted to bring in the costume and production design yeah and then Jamie as as Eli just said you know you've done a lot of amazing things you've done a lot of iconic roles so what was it about Tannis that made you excited about the project Kate Blanchett <laughs> Fair just literally I swear to you my we were in the middle of covid my agents called me they said there's a movie I said uh-huh they said it's in Budapest now it's in the middle of covid before the vaccine <laughs> yeah, oh yeah before the vaccine and I was like mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. and they said Borderlands, which I knew the game. I raised a gamer. I was like, uh huh. Kate Blanchett. Yes. <laughs> well, no, no, no. You have to hear about the. No, I'm, am I in scenes with Kate Blanchett? <laughs> I mean, like in the movie with her? Yes, you're in the movie. With yes, I will do the movie. <laughs> I literally, I think she is. She is. She yeah. just is. And I was thrilled. In the same way I did everything everywhere all at once because Michelle Yeoh was in it. I swear. Yeah. They said movie, this thing, I didn't understand it. They said Michelle Yeoh, I said yes. Because these are women who are changing cinema mm -hmm. with their incredible work. And for me as an actor to be able to work with them, with all due respect, boys. <laughs> I will tell you, I will tell you, there was a little bit of a girl, there was a little bit of like a girl team v boy team uh, you know, on the shoot, and I'm feeling a little underrepresented with my chicks, <laughs> but you know, we did okay. But you know, she is Kate Blanchett is is singular, and I just is thrilled to have the opportunity to work with her. Yeah, what was it like working with her for all of you? Go. I mean. It was it was incredible. I mean, she's so um, she's so precise and also so relaxed. I mean, one one of the things that that that, that I don't know that uh, I've have. I have heard stories that you had a great sense of humor and they're all were true and beyond. It's incredible how, because this, this, this is an enormous movie and there was of course a lot of, there was a lot of work. And for you guys, I mean, you, 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 you stayed longer in the film um, shooting and, and her sense of humor is really, is something that really relaxes you. And, and she's very intense and you've seen, you know, the work, I mean, the body of work that she has, you know, built in her career, but I guess that that sense of humor and that liberty, you know, is is something that really that is, is really helpful. It was really, really nice to work with her. I mean, to me, it is a dream coming true, no matter what. I mean, I was watching those people when I was younger, you know, those were my idols. I mean, Jamie, for example, in True Lies with Arnold, mm -hmm. does, that's a movie that I was idolizing. Mm -hmm. Now I'm in a movie with her. Mm -hmm. Edgar <laughs> played uh, Roberto Duran, Manos de Piedra. And, uh, one of my favorite movies. Now I'm in a movie with him. Mm -hmm. Eli Roth, Hostel. Now he's my director. It's incredible. Um, I have to pinch myself sometimes um, to make sure it's not a dream and I'm just enjoying this fun ride. Thank you. There was, there was so much love and respect. Obviously I grew up, you know, 
horror movies are my heart and soul. So getting to work with Jamie was a dream come true. Uh, Edgar I'd seen since Carlos, uh, which is one of my favorite performances, which I had watched was it just incredible, incredible. Um, but Kate and I, I was so lucky to work with her on House of the Clock and its Walls. And then I, I couldn't believe it when I called her and she said yes to doing it because we had such a great time working together. And to go and get to do another film with her, you know? And it's one of those things where she's like actor chum. You know, you like, I don't want to compare her to a bucket of fish guts, but if I'm being complimentary, <laughs> you can chum the waters and everyone else, you know, wants to be in the scene with her. Um, and, and I remember, I swear to God, the, the, the day that we shot the first scene where she comes in and these two, it's just Jamie and Kate. And as a director, I just set up the frame I didn't want to cut. I didn't want to move the. I was just watching, just changing the focus back and forth. I was like, I was getting chills. I was like, I don't have to do anything except stay out of their way. This is happening. I, I felt like if I just got these two icons together on screen, my work is done here. And it's just beautiful to watch their friendships continue from that. But you really feel the love and the energy and the electricity. It was that way with Kevin, who was incredible, and Ariana. Like there was such love and respect on set. I do need to. We. I know we have to end, but I want to say this. I know that seems weird to y'all that you think we're all just BSing you, but the truth is most of us are unemployed most of our lives. Actors are really unemployed a lot. So when you get an opportunity to yeah. work on something yeah. with actors you admire, you say yes. Yeah. It's not, this isn't a hard decision. Yeah. Honestly, it's not, a, I'm not gonna, when else am I gonna work with Kate Blanchett? When else, what, what else? <laughs> I'm 66 years old, like when else am I gonna get to be in a movie where I play her like an auntie to her, mm -hmm. like a deep relationship with her. I, I, it's an extraordinary opportunity. And all of us sitting here yeah. are here because we've had those opportunities. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it, don't think we're just like, oh yeah, everybody's so great, we love you. I mean, I was in a movie with Kate Blanchett. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get it. Yeah. I, I mean, I flew to Budapest in the middle of COVID. <laughs> to be in a movie with Kate Blanchett because she's such an artist. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's it's how we all are. And it's, so that's true. Like yeah. that none of this is BS. No, it's true. And I know, but I need to, I need to add a little bit to that um, again, because I was the one who landed in that, I, I basically okay. landed in Pandora. I mean, yeah, actually, yeah, actually, yeah, I mean, the way, in the, the way my, the, yeah, yeah, the way my, shooting in the, since January and he came in in like June or so. Exactly. <laughs> so, and then basically I landed in Pandora pretty much like the same way like in the movie, you know, but it happened yeah. in reality. And and as Jamie said, um, it doesn't happen very often that suddenly a big cast gets together and really love each other. Like we are in each other's lives ever since, you know, and we, yeah, yeah it's true, we stayed. I mean, it doesn't, I, I mean, you can have great experiences and work experiences and you work with colleagues and it's great, but not always you have this. So yeah. I wanted to, also add to it because it's not BS. I mean, we really like each other and we're very happy to see each other. And and of course, Jamie, I have to thank you for that because you were so welcoming. I mean, you were like that. Jamie's the mom. Yeah, she's the, oh, she sets it yeah, she sets mom, you yeah. likes her job. Yeah, yeah. she's the mom. She's the best she makes us way. all like so, so, um, so welcome and connect her right away. We would have brunch and we would have lunches and we would go but and we have adventures. But we tested before. Huh? Yeah. But what? Yes. But we tested, we tested. But we every tested time before. we saw yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. But Jamie's always, ne always next to camera. You never have to look for her. She's always right there and nobody wants to be late. They're like, oh, Jamie's ready. It's like, it's incredible. She sets the, you want Jamie Lee Curtis on every movie you ever make, trust me. Yeah. Amazing. There you go. <laughs> well, well, real quick before we wrap, I gotta ask you about Freaky Friday too. Because sorry, boys. sorry no, guys. no, no, no. I'm glad you sorry. did. I've been wanting to hear this too. Excited. We wanna hear it. <laughs> what do you wanna know? Uh, what can just, I tell you? What's it that's like by the being way, that's by the way. And that's by the like way a movie that I saw in cinema. Oh, you back saw, in the yeah, day. Yeah, so yeah. Of course. It's crazy. Yeah, and yeah. now I'm in a movie um, with you. Well, I will tell you that the reason Freaky Friday is Freaky Friday is because of exactly what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And during the Halloween press junkets all around the world, we would do Halloween questions and then every single interview <laughs> they'd go, so <laughs> what's up with you and Lindsay? Are you gonna get back? And because of that real interest around the world, when I got back home, I called Bob Iger and I said, Bob, I'm telling you, people want it. People want it. And that's how it began. And that it was about a year and a half ago. 
and we have been shooting now for two months and it's awesome <laughs> and it's actually it's different and beautiful and fun and funny and it hits every note the same beautiful experience it's going to be amazing i can't actually talk about it very much yeah. but um as i was saying to you as we sat down <clears throat> You know, you said, how's, how's your Comic-Con? And I was like, well, last night I was 15. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in downtown LA, jumping a 1969 uh, Camaro. Literally, last night, at the end of the day, as the sun set in downtown Los Angeles, I was jumping a 69 Camaro as a 15-year-old. And now, here I am in <laughs> Pandora. So it's awesome, and it's gonna be great. And it'll be out next year. And uh, if you're coming to D23, we have some announcements Ooh. happening at D23. So maybe, or maybe not, you'll hear something. <laughs> Amazing, well I can't wait. And like I said, I loved Borderlands, guys. So awesome. thank you so much awesome. for your time. Thanks, everybody, <laughs> God bless you all. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Thank you.